419-2016 Julie from the Heart of Feather Heart Temple YouTube site. I'm going to talk a little bit about the thoughts create mind control mantra that they have been pumping into the collective hive mind. Now, on the surface, I'm just going to talk briefly about it, maybe. Well, that's what I intend to. Who knows where this is going to go. But what I wanted to say is they teach that your thoughts create. Now, I can understand that on a surface level how that could be true. Like, for instance, say you go outside and it's raining, and so you think, Oh, what a dreary day. And then all of a sudden you think, well, I could dance in it. And so you go out and dance in it. So your thoughts are creating something different. So I understand that part of it. However, what they don't cover, because all these things are multidimensional, you see, and they're not absolutes. Now, I wrote this about the thoughts create mantra, and I'm going to read it for you. And then I'm going to finish off this video and then, and I don't know, whenever I deem it necessary, I'm going to do um, a longer video about the thoughts create mind control mantra that they've been pumping into our minds to cause so much confusion and so much upset because I had a friend who got in a car accident. This is how absurd it's getting. She was in a car accident and, and called me on the phone and wanted to know how her thoughts created it, you see. But see, what they're not saying is that you have other people creating things for you with their thoughts, you see. So they kind of leave that all out. But, the, but I wanted to read this, what I wrote about the thoughts create mantra. The thoughts create mantra isn't entirely true. It is true. If it is true, then please explain to me how abused children's thoughts created the cigarette butt burns on her arms. Or can you explain to me how a molested child created the child molestation with his or her own thoughts? So before you accept their, their thoughts create mantra programming, think beyond it so that your mind doesn't get sucked into the conditioning of absolutes. Now, when I, and I'll say this again, when I say absolutes, I mean when they give you a, the definition of something, but they don't open it up to show the multi-dimensions of it, okay? The reason they don't show you the multi-dimensions of it is so that you're stuck in thoughts always creating when it's not always the case, you see? So we look out into the world and there, you know, you can see where they are manipulating people's minds to think certain things. So their thoughts are creating things for you that you didn't create. But I will do another video about it, but I wanted to get this out there while I had it on my mind today. It's such a dreary day out there. <laughs> It looks like it might rain, and if it does, I'm going to go out and dance in it. Have a beautiful day, and maybe you should too. Go dance in the rain. Have a beautiful day, beautiful people on the planet.